Hello again, everyone. This is Aaron Doughton with Sencor, Product Manager for the MRD 7000. Uh, I have a new feature release I want to talk about today. We've got a couple new things like uh, new output options and some uh, new servers and things like that. So I wanted to highlight a couple of those things and just let you guys know what we've been working on here at Sencor. So first up is a new 12 GSDI mode for our 4X3 GSDI card. Um, so really what this does, it really, uh, it just adds all of the different types of SDI in one card. It's actually a free software upgrade. If you already have this, uh, if you already have that SDI card option installed in your MRD 7000, this is a free software upgrade to you. And it introduces that new 12G SDI output. In addition to 4X 3G SDI, uh, 3G SDI, HD SDI, and SDI, our marketing personal, go ahead and put all of those uh, different modes and, and what's supported there. Um, in addition to the gem lock input as well um, on that card. So that just kind of rounds out that card in a nice, uh, I guess, cost-effective output card for the MRD 7000. Uh, just has everything you could ever think of, uh, of using for SDI output. So nice addition there. Uh, one of the other additions is a brand new top tier server version. Um, so we did a bunch of research in terms of you know, new processors and, and memory and stuff out there. Um, and while we didn't get any more performance out of it, we definitely lowered the cost of our top tier server. So we're just making it, uh, you know, a better price per channel for you, the customer, um, and kind of, you know, jamming as many features into a, a lower cost, better price per channel platform with the Everdy 7000. Um, and by popular demand, uh, we actually had a lot of customers out there were asking us for more RJ45 uh, ports actually on the servers themselves. So we've introduced a new uh, IP card option uh, that just adds uh, two one gigabit ports um, just with all the different MPEG over IP, Zixi, SRT, RIST, HLS, <laughs> RTMP, all the different kinds of IP input options we have on the MRD 7000. Uh, we just had customers that needed either additional management ports or additional data ports and things like that. Just more IP connectivity uh, on the units. Uh, and thankfully, it only uh, takes up one of the uh, half, uh, half height uh, PCI Express slots. So you can still continue to add all of the input and output options um, like you would on any other uh, MRD 7000 configurations. So nice little addition there. We've also made some quality of life improvements to our BIS CA uh, feature set, uh, just being able to download things uh, locally, like right off of the unit in terms of um, keys and, and different types of uh, encryption type information and stuff like that. Just makes the workflow for BIS CA a lot easier. So that was a nice little addition we made. Um, and that, that pretty much rounds out the, uh, the 1 or 11 release. Uh, we really focused on introducing some you know, high-end features to some of our existing hardware and also try to uh, drive down that price per channel for all of you. Um, so I think you all appreciate that. Anyway, thanks for listening today. If you have any questions, want some more details, feel free to reach out to us at sales at syncore.com. You can email me at aaron at syncore.com. I can uh, field any kind of questions, provide answers, and get you, uh, get you talking to the right people uh, if, you're, if you're interested in MRD 7000 or any of the other Syncore products we have. Thanks a lot.